Well, good day. Glav here and welcome back. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I'd really appreciate if you do. Today's ride sees us heading out through Peak Crossing again and then on to Warralong Dam, which I've never been before, so we're going to have a bit of a gander. From there, we're going to head out through Bow Desert, then Canungra, and then straight up to Mount Tambourine. We're going to stop at the North Tambourine Lookout. This is good motorcycle roads all the way through here. This is a great ride. We spend just over four hours in the saddle and just over 250 kilometres. This is another very picturesque scenic ride through the beautiful southeast Queensland. just going to roll through the town of Peak Crossing um, to about 50 kilometres from home. Nothing much to see here, got to tell you. Uh, we're turning off before we get to Boona. Have a go. So, my mate Valerio and I have stopped at Warralong Dam, which is about 90 k's from my house and about 40 k from Peak Crossing. This is a beautiful dam, never been here before, but um, it's so picturesque, it's just delightful. And uh, of course we'll have our first coffee here today, can't do without our coffee in the mornings. Still brought our own coffee, doing our social distancing bit still, even though they're relaxing uh, things a bit here in Australia, but um, I guess we better start buying coffee again and start supporting our uh, local community and so forth. Happy days. Warralong Dam is a mass concrete gravity dam with an ungated spillway across the Teviot Brook 
The main purpose of the dam is to supply potable water to the scenic rim region. It's got an area of about 12.3 square kilometres. It's got a catchment area of 546 square kilometres. was built in 2011 at a cost just under 400 million Aussie. Um, it fish, it's got Merry River Cod, Australian Bass and Common Carp. You can actually fish here if you wish. Wet road, hard to see here, big glues, nearly threw it down the road. coming into the Tambourine Mountain, which is a 28 kilometre plateau at about a couple of thousand feet. The name is of Aboriginal origin and has got nothing to do with a musical instrument. It's com considered part of the Gold Coast hinterland and has a strong tourist industry. Tambourine Mountain was inhabited by Aborigines for tens of thousands of years until European settlement. The name comes from the Aboriginal word Jambreen. Uh, when written, it also means wild lime and refers to the finger lime trees growing on the mountain. It has about a population of about 7,000 people. Interesting little thing happened um, when we pulled up to the North Tambourine Lookout. A couple of very ignorant and arrogant Queensland police gave us a really hard time. I guess they were just looking to give some bikers a hard time. Now, about my drone of all things, even my mate, who's everything I'm not, i.e. he's calm and polite, was astonished with their rubbish behaviour. Someone needs to tell these clowns that those days of behaviour are well and truly gone. So I'm just at the bottom of Mount Tambourine, so I'm just diverting from the right a bit. I've got to attend a funeral online. Old work colleague, very sad, died of cancer. Um, given that we can only have 10 people at the funeral, the rest of us pay our respects by doing it online. Not a bad idea considering the situation. Another great day, 250 k's down, some beautiful scenery, same about a bit of rain and a 
couple of rude ignorant coppers, but other than that, another great ride. Happy days. Hope you enjoyed this latest Glav World video, and please remember, live life today.